Emil Berliner. Emil Berliner was born on 20th May 1851 in Germany. Although he was born in Germany, yet he was an American inventor. He is known for developing the disc record gramophone that is known phonograph in American English. In 1895, he founded Berliner Gramophone Company in the various cities listed as below. Gramophone Company in London, England in 1897. Dutch Gramophone in Hanover, Germany in 1898. And Berliner Gramophone Company of Canada in Montreal in 1899. He took an apprenticeship to become a merchant. This was the family tradition of him, although he was interested to do something new at every time. He also invented the microphones. That time, this was one of the first types of the microphone. This was the enhanced telephone transmitter and patented by the Bell Telephone Company. While later, the patent was affirmed invalid by the United States of Court Appeal. The gramophone was patented in 1887. He passed away on 3rd August 1929. Emil Fischer Emil Fischer was a German chemist who discovered the phenylhydrenzyne and the Fischer esterification. He also carried the synthesis of tea, coffee, caffeine and cocoa. He proved the relation between fructose and glucose. His significant research on sugar included the synthesis of glucosides. He also found out methods to separate amino acids and found out proline and hydroxyproline, which were new types of cyclic amino acids. His research on proteins was also remarkable. He came up with the lock and key model to show the interface between enzymes and substrates. His book on the hydrolysis of casein published after he had carried out the synthesis of dipeptide and glycine. His most remarkable discovery was the synthesis of mannose, fructose and glucose from glycerol. Fisher discovered and studied lichens from the black forest which were used in tanning processes. Later, he carried out a research on fats. He was bestowed with the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1902 for his immense contributions to this field. Ernest Bew Ernest Bew was born on 8 December 1881 in Moscow. He was well known as a French and Russian perfumer. His grandfather was Jean Joseph Bew, who was related to Napoleon's army as a soldier. Edward Bew was the father of Ernest Bew. 
Edyodovich was Ernest's older brother who was involved to a rallet and co. Finally, he became the deputy administrator and also counted as the member of board. Ernest Pew is well known for creating the Chanel number no. 5 and also considered as the best perfumer of the world. Under Joseph Robert, who was the chief perfumer of Kiris Ernest, he tried to make new contacts. In the year 1920, he called a meeting in Cannes, presented his project of Coco Chanel and named it Chanel No. 5. Yet his discovery had some drawbacks. On 9th June 1961, Bill took his last breath. But his creation still holds a great value. Earl W. Bascom Earl W. Bascom was an American painter who was born on 19th June 1906. His father was John W. Bascom who was a deputy sheriff in Utah. Earl had multi-hued family backdrop having a group nationalities and Moors such as Quaker, Basque and Huguenot. He completed his graduation from the Brigham Young University. Boscom was well known as the cowboy for his extensive western experience professional sector. He rodeoed crosswise the Canadian and American West. The cowboy Earl W. Bascom was not only a painter but also was a printmaker, a sculptor, a performer of Canada. In cowboying and rodeoing, he drew his own knowledge with great ability. The side delivery rodeo chute, hornless rodeo saddle, rodeo bareback rigging, rodeo chaps are some of his findings that are felicitated till date. Other than these, Bascom was also a famous Hollywood actor. He was associated with a number of professions as school teacher. He was an artist, a cowboy, an international sculptor. He took his last breath on 28th August 1995 at the age of 85 in California. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Bookhouse.